Nintendo recently made it official that the next reveal of a DLC Smash Bros. character will be the last for Smash Bros. Ultimate. So there's one last opportunity for everyone to get their hopes up. It's also worth noting that they obviously didn't say that this would be the last character ever added to the Smash Bros. franchise, just the last character for Smash Bros. Ultimate. After all, there will be future games in the franchise, as these are the five characters that I personally would love to see added to the franchise at some point or another. Number 5. Zero of the Mega Man series Mega Man is one of the most iconic figures of Capcom's lineup, and has provided several classics for Nintendo consoles throughout the years. Every significant hero needs a strong sidekick, and Zero from Mega Man X certainly fits the bill. In some ways, calling Zero a sidekick is selling him pretty short, as he in many instances was more powerful than Mega Man, as Mega Man was often playing catch-up to Zero's already established elite form. Since 1993, Zero has been featured in many games, and even had his own spin-off series simply called Mega Man Zero. With his deep history and close connection with Mega Man, Zero could make a fantastic addition to the Smash Bros. franchise, and is unique enough to where he wouldn't have to simply be an Echo Fighter. His speed and agility is usually different from Mega Man's, and along with all of Mega Man's typical projectiles, Zero also has a sword that's frequently used as a primary form of combat, which would help make him a seamless transition into the Smash universe. Number 4. Boo from the Mario franchise Boos have been a common enemy in Mario Bros. games ever since Super Mario Bros. 3 in 1988. Not only is he extremely recognizable throughout the franchise's rich history, but he also played a prominent role in the popular Luigi's Mansion series, and he's often been a playable character in the popular multiplayer titles, like Mario Kart, Mario Party, and the Mario Sports games. He's such a prominent, likable, and merchandised character that it honestly still kinda irks me how Piranha Plant was selected to be a Smash Bros. character before he was. He also has shown a variety of unique abilities throughout his existence that could make him quite the interesting and complex character in a Smash Bros. format. From his ability to appear and reappear on command, his teleportation powers, momentarily turning into stone when it's convenient, and all of the uses of his obnoxious giant tongue. I know some people feel like if any Mario Universe character is owed an appearance in Smash Bros., then it's probably Waluigi, which may be true, but honestly, I just like Boo more than Waluigi, so that's why he gets the spot on my list. Sorry, Waluigi. Number 3. Master Chief from the Halo franchise Crazier things have happened, and in recent years, there are several examples of Nintendo and Microsoft being extra friendly with one another as competitors. Honestly, I could see this as a mutually beneficial partnership, as Chief being in Smash may intrigue more Xbox-exclusive gamers to consider picking up a Switch, and Smash introducing Chief could also potentially result in the Japanese audience embracing the Xbox and Halo games on a more widespread level. There's certainly no shortage of awesome moves and weaponry in this Spartan's arsenal, so creating a natural and fluent moveset in a Smash Bros. game shouldn't be too difficult. Getting Chief in the Smash universe would just be half of the victory though, as it would also mean that you're likely getting a beautifully scenic Halo map for battles, and should include some of the iconic, epic, and exhilarating music from this legendary franchise. Number 2. Knuckles from the Sonic franchise Similar to Zero in the Mega Man series, Knuckles is a lovable red sidekick of the main blue character, who would really make a fun addition to the Smash scene. In several ways, he's also very different from Sonic, which would make him a nice change of pace character. He's much slower than Sonic, but still incredibly fast relatively to almost everyone else. With his ridiculously huge and dangerous fists, I could see him operating as a big damage dealer, almost like a heavyweight version of Little Mac. Number 1. Ryu Hayabusa from the Ninja Gaiden series Definitely my most wanted character for Smash from one of my favorite video game franchises of all time. I believe these games are some of the most underrated hack and slash games out there, but there's another implication that comes with the word underrated, which is that it's not wildly popular, and that's probably why Hayabusa won't be making it into Smash Bros. at least anytime soon. The history is certainly there though, as Ryu made his first appearance on the NES in 1988, 
Since then, he has been in a variety of games known for their fast combat and insane difficulty. And with the recent release of the Ninja Gaiden Master Collection on all major consoles, there's never been a better time than now for Ryu Hayabusa to join the fight. The developers of the Ninja Gaiden games Team Ninja have stated that they would love to have Ryu in Smash, and they're just simply waiting for the invitation, so it's certainly in the realm of possibility that it happens at some point. Mechanically speaking, the combat in the more recent Ninja Gaiden games is incredibly similar to that of Smash Bros., as the use of blocking, timing, and attacking all has a familiar rhythm. Within Ryu's arsenal are a variety of weapons, and he already has all the moves he needs demonstrated in the Ninja Gaiden games. Aerials, ground game, counters, throwing techniques, projectiles, specials, dash attacks, light attacks, heavy attacks, combos, and so on. Not only is he deserving of a spot, but I honestly can't think of a more perfect transition of a character than Ryu Hayabusa for the way he traditionally functions. So what do you guys think? Which character do you personally want to see in Smash Bros. regardless of how anyone else feels about it? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more Nintendo content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.